Hey guys, this is Phil here with another uh, DP Tech um, video, I guess, just a, an update on some things that you can look at. Um, today I'm going to be talking about chunks. So as you can see, I've got a really large session here. I'm going to hover over this, which is the chunks uh, selection window or create chunk duplicate. Um, the reason I'm talking about this today is because I've got a huge um, track here with lots of uh, channels, lots of things happening in the song. And my clients ask for a full mix, but also an acoustic mix. Um, so what I've done is I've got to a point in my, in my full mix. So let me just switch over to this here. And it's going to take a second because it's got so many things happening, so many tracks, so many channels, lots of plugins, all that sort of thing. But what I want to do is create a new uh, chunk, which is effectively a copy of everything that's going on here. And it's going to remember all of my settings, all of my parts, um, the audio channels, tracks and everything, and all the plugins. So I'm going to go to duplicate chunk. Now you can do this without duplicating the audio. You can just duplicate the track layout if that's something you want to do. Um, that's another way of, for, say, recording the same plugins, re recording in a session with the same plugins, the same track layout, all that sort of stuff within one session. But in this case, I want to create a separate mix. So I'm taking my full mix chunk and I'm going to duplicate that chunk. And uh, it's going to give me a dialogue here in a second. Oh, no, it's already done it. And it's called it Full Mix Copy 1. Now, I've already done this once, so that's why it says Full Mix Copy. But I'm doing Full Mix Copy 1. So if I jump to there, it's now going to load that. You can see the spinny wheel is just turning around. And, and what I want to do in this new version is turn off, say, a bunch of these keyboards channels. I know um, things are a little bit squashed down here, so I'm just going to enlarge those for you. Sorry. Um, so you can see this. And so you can see down here, I've got a whole bunch of keyboard tracks, for instance. So I'm just going to turn all those off. And they're actually grouped together. So, And I'm just going to shrink that back down. And look, if I was to go to the mixing board, change a whole bunch of uh, audio levels. Oh, my faders aren't turning up here. I'm not sure why. Um, it doesn't matter. For the purposes of this, if I was just to change any of these settings and then jump back to the other, the other full mix... Um, all of those settings would not change in this chunk. In other words, they'd be complete. These chunks are completely independent. And as you can see down here, my keyboard parts are all are still uh, unmuted, if you like, or active. And when I jump back to this new version that I've made, it's even going to remember the zooming that I had. But yeah, as you can see, these keyboards are muted. So in other words, this is a really cool way of having a mix and duplicating it. Um, to another chunk. Now I know there's different mix modes down here. This is, uh, sorry, that's the track selector. There's a few different ways to do um, different mixes on the mixing board. You've got, um, you can create new mix, duplicate mix and, and whatnot here. But I find this chunks method really great because I, I have lots of different changes perhaps from one mix to another. Anyway, that's just a really cool thing. The other one I want, the other thing I want to do here is just show you um, creating folders. So if I just zoom in there and I select three tracks, I want to come up here and say I want to create a folder from the track selected. And this just gives me a little subfolder there. If I uh, option click that, I can say lead parts, for instance. And now I can just collapse that in the tracks window, which is a really handy feature just for when you've got lots and lots of different tracks, for instance, if I did it again here with these piano parts, I know they're all selected, all these keyboards. Hey, I'll just grab my two tambourine tracks. Go to Project, Folders, New Track Folder from Selected Tracks. So that's Shift, Command, R is the keystroke. So I'm going to do that, and it's created a new folder, and I'm going to call that my Tambo Tracks. Tambos, there you go. And I can just close that down. Just a great way of keeping everything sort of neat and tidy. In your tracks window um, don't forget command arrow down zooms your uh, tracks down command arrow uh, sorry command arrow up um, zooms in yeah just a couple little tips for you i hope that helps uh yeah a lot of people use chunks for different songs for instance for live performance and you can you can actually um, set up a chunks um, viewing window um, where you can um, see your chunks uh, 
just that was uh, shift C and you can jump to those here um, just by clicking on them one at a time like this um, I'm not sure how fast that would be for live performance depending on how much stuff you've got in there but yeah that's uh, that's another way you can just um, have multiple songs loaded into one session um, I actually no two's video on this has got a lot of more complicated in, uh, information about what you can do with this you can import MIDI files you can do all sorts of stuff in the chunks window uh, anyway that's the way I use chunks is mainly to duplicate the mix and have a separate mix uh, version um, for a client who wants multiple mixes hope that helps you okay thanks for watching please like and subscribe I'm gonna keep trying to pump out videos to help you out on this channel so thanks very much